Dead down, but it's they are. My daughter was born on September 1st. So imagine trying to get that weekend to do anything with your kid. Never. Never. You never, you never yeah, did. It, it was a nightmare. And I remember the first time, her first birthday, I asked for the request off for the weekend for her first birthday. My GSM ripped the time off request off in front of me. My first time, and I went, you know what? This place. And I quit. And it was my first time I quit the car business. And I ended up going back there two weeks later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, just wanted the weekend yeah. off. Just wanted the weekend off. Just wanted the weekend off. Once they understood that I wasn't playing around, so. Yeah, I wasn't around. No, I'll that's... be back. That was a I'll statement. Back, I, was, uh, I was at that Toyota store for eight years after that. Let's yeah. roll. Good morning. Listen, some of you, I don't know who you're thinking about. Like, I don't know, like, when you come into work, you're like, what your doubts are. But just get rid of them. Just get rid of them. Be who Andy sees you as. Be who, be who and Andy sees you as the best closer in the world, Austin. Tells you every day. Chad, you're the best closer in the world. Chad, today you're going to close everybody. Chad, he believes that. Do you guys get when he says he's actually not like the, not like faking it he actually has like tricked himself into believing it he's the best in the world you guys know that right yeah. he was on youtube fat lazy and saying you know what more effort more effort i'm gonna have more effort i'm the best in the world 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 how often do you guys tell yourself that you're the best in the world you guys get that anybody who's done anything in life all they've done is sold themselves on that they're the best in the world yeah. and then you know what they have to do which is hard they have to act like it they have to put the effort in. Hola, Fabiola. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Muy bien, ¿y tú? Muy bien, uh, disfrutando el día. Listo <laughs> para dominar. You lost me. Coffee's for closers, Fabiola. For closers. This is episode five right here. I'm kidding. Yeah, boom. Switch love with the camera guy. Did you, Rafael, you're crushing. Thanks, big dog. Love you too. Good morning, Bryson. Good morning, Elliot Flicks. What's up, baby? Let's go, baby. Let's go have a hell of a Tuesday. All right, guys, it's Tuesday. We don't know why it keeps showing up. Every single week, Tuesday shows up, keeps on getting its ass kicked. That just means that today we got to let it know who's boss, so we're going to dominate the day. Nobody stands a Fun chance. Fun fact, he says that about every day. <laughs> None of them ever stand a chance. We don't know why they keep showing up. We just keep kicking its front door in. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I'll tell you about to go into this meeting, guys. Mom and Dad, they're out of town. We're gonna hop on a Zoom with them this morning, see what they got cooking. Always coming out with new stuff. It's always fun, exciting. Yeah, I think the question is, yeah, how many know your real name? I don't know. I do. I, I do. Who the heck is this? How many actually know Fabio's legit name? Rai the donkey man. The donkey whisperer. I'm gonna start rehabilitating donkeys on my ranch. <laughs> Mentally, physically. You guys ready to go? Man, this place is beautiful. I put it on, I was like, ooh. So, I I, going, yeah, it looks so good on you. Totally I got good. the sandals. Yeah, I was like, babe, they are so cute. He goes, <laughs> they just, no. I was like, no, stop. And I'm like, they're so cute. I'm like, we got some big goals to hit. Just get my. <laughs> I've actually been training lace really hard lately, guys. And, uh, I don't know if you can see that, if the lighting's good, if you could maybe like get those bad boys. That's like, I'd say like 15 years hard in the gym. That's what it takes to get 11 inch thighs. Just saying. Although my main goal is to get my arms bigger, but like, 
I just I don't think there's any hope for me. And uh, I think Aaron's actually given up on me because he just he sees that I just don't have the potential in my arms. And it's kind of sad. I pulled my hamstring playing flag football. I was chasing Jesse in the middle of the field. I cut like this. I hit him. He flew like 10 feet that way. He got injured. They had to call the ambulance to get him to the hospital immediately. And uh, all I came out with was a little couple scratches. Hammy pulled, but that's okay. I got such great genetics in my legs that it's just gonna heal. That's it. Super easy. Super genetics. In the ball was when Mike Tyson went on stage, and every single time he got asked a question, all his, his only answer was, I just believe. I just believe. I just believe. And every time we go to like do more training, we're just like, dude, just believing, having your heart in the game. We know that you're gonna figure it out. That's all it is. Everyone always wants the techniques. That's why I say the execution of the perfection is just like, you just fucking believe. The belief comes from the paychecks. Close the deals all day, every day, baby. Come on. Come on. You don't call me Big Daddy DK for nothing. Another day in the LA group. I don't got anything to say, but the fact is I'm just happy as shit. I'm just grateful. Look at these mountains, man. We're in America. Great. That's it, baby. Let's go. Whatever's going on, not the couples one, but the other one. I just want to make sure that all the emails are going out to the right people. So I just need your help organizing that, who's on that list, so I can make sure that they've all received the information we get on the same page, and that I can get it from him, so that we can get it out to the people. Mike White brings the positive energy. We need that. So we'll just come in here. Okay. This is where closers are made. What's up, guys? Positive hey, man, email. success papers to those who prepare for opportunities. Look, it's all about a decision. When you get around this guy, look, this guy right here, this guy right here, this guy. hey, you want to go to another level. He, he, That's he, right. He's new, but hey, he's, he used to be a cop too. <laughs> it's <been> fascinating. <laughs> Gang down, they just think they are. Never know I want to be gangster trying to play hard. Gang down, they just think they are. Never know I want to be gangster trying to play hard. I'm yeah, just out here, just getting gym, the best shape for life right now. I crushed Sean this morning, so it's always fun watching them just battle each other going back and forth. She's always giving Sean sh And then uh, Sean's like, what? Can you see I'm doing an interview? I'm beating her up. I'm doing an interview. You think you're all big and strong? I can beat you up. Look, that's what finishing up yesterday. I was ready to beat your behind and take your cake Which away. Which was bull crap. I didn't even know about that. Like, are you good in the group chat? No. Then why you watch the group chat? So much. It's like, dude, like, I, I mean, like, I'm Thank sorry. You you're welcome. That you're way welcome. we can have to. Are we getting? Don't do his cake. Wait, wait, what kind of cake is she making? Healthy cake? No, it's a uh, bunt cake and it's gonna be gluten free. Yeah. So it's gonna be a slightly healthy and I'm eating it. I, I earned it. I'm doing Murph tomorrow so I can earn my cake on my birthday. I <laughs> oh, there you go. And so is Jennifer. You there? Jennifer's gonna do the yeah. Murph with me. I'm gonna go no. Okay. To make some steak. Yeah. Guys, Sean's always saying I'm never repping the Elliot gear, but so I decided to share. No handouts, you know. That's how we do. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Ever since Celsius sponsored the media team here, I've been like, oh, God. <laughs> so a lot of people are always asking me, like in the comments, everywhere, just dude, like, what are you on? Like, are you natural? Is he natural? I'm like, um, yes. Guys, I am 100% natural. Don't take anything for this physique. Just the old protein. And besides that, you know, you just have to work really hard. Work, the grind. I don't need anything. Like, this physique is just all hard work, so. Um, that's how it goes, bro. They spend their money with people that are like, are just fake. And then they come to us and they just get over delivered, bro. That was a uh, five grand worth of value you gave them. You know Only 20 minutes, bro. That's it. A lot of people are too scared to like give out the game. Most people are like, oh, well, I, I'll give you that, but you gotta get in the program. And they hold back too much instead of just like, they, they just want the accountability. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just gave him everything. And then once he does coaching, show him how to actually go and coach or how to sell and how to do all that. Shit. How to actually build the brand. If you just teach him how to sell, he'll double what he's doing. I mean, he's a stud. I love those clients. They're the best got under delivered on they've already said hey here's what I've spent here's what I got and then they see what we deliver for what they can spend and it's just like game over bro not only do they get Andy but they get a whole arsenal of people and an open line of communication ¿Cómo te no mames. Pues sí, no me pongo el número y... Simón. ¿Sí? No, baboso, pero no me sale. ¿Qué usas? 
Tengo AT&T. ¿Y pagas para poder hacer llamadas internacionales? Ah, ¿ves? No sé, no lo creo. ¿Cómo estás, amigo? Voy a decirle a todos que la vida es maravillosa, es una aventura, es un misterio. Y hey, hay puzzles, hay levels de esto. Tienes que caminar antes de que caminar, y caminar antes de que caminar. Hola. Hola. Some guys are buying Lamborghinis, bigger IE's buying livestock. There's levels of this shit, come on. Unless you guys actually do understand the basis and go back, Lamborghini actually started building what? Tractors. Right. And the signal for, or the significance of the Lamborghini is the bull. I don't like a bull, you know? Whoa, 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 whoa. look at my bull. Trash <laughs> bag. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Today we're gonna go over the frameworks. Um, no, uh, but for real, I'll make this real quick, like literally five minutes. I have a demo at nine, so just like quick five minutes. I was doing one-on-ones with a bunch of the team. But like, one thing I do every single morning, like I think one of the biggest things is, I was gonna spell preparation, but I'm on video, so. Uh, preparation. Because <laughs> like some of you guys, you're, you're running around without clarity and you're wondering why you feel like you're a mess. Because I need to know like, hey, this is everything I got. Here's everything that's available. And then I can go and attack it because I can take the stress of all the shit that's on my brain, I just put it on paper. Um, I found a cookie that Jennifer made, and it's just a privilege and a distinct honor because she, this is heart, this is full of heart and love, you know? Come on. No, I'm actually, man, I've been delivered from confusion. I've been delivered from confusion, and I'm no longer in a delusion. Andy says, knock that shit off, so I knocked it off. Hey, you want a cookie? When uh, Ian Macklin spoke to me yesterday at a meeting, he told me some do's, and I just started implementing them, and I realized that my mind state has shifted, that I was in a very confused state, and I just need to come back over to the other side of the fence of being guided and a little inspiration, and now I'm turned on like a salt shaker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> at the end of the day, sometimes people are in the swamps. They just need people to reach down and pull them up, up on solid ground and give them a little confidence, knock some confidence into them, and look, they ain't got to wallow through misery and confusion. They come to Andy Elliott and they're delivered. They rise above and beyond and embrace greatness. All he got to do is wrap his arms around you and things start happening. Look, I'm a product of his teaching and I promise you, it works. Damn, Jennifer made some great cookies. This, this is power. Complete silence. Absolute power. Right here, this guy. When you guys get canceled, I'll just step in and take over. Oh, there it is. See, this guy has a power move. That's the play at hand right now, so. Anyways, here we are. This is the uh, tech division of the company, the technology division, the build outs, the scaling, the AI, the funnel, you name it. Anything that's happening in the back, in the shadows, is happening right here. So we were having a massive Friday meeting rolling into the weekend, and it's powerful. It's at least that someone though, is like, wait, what event is this? Yeah. Like, hey, look, the brand name, old event. Um, should I mention this guy's name? Do you think I should even, I should still call the people that say realty? Because yeah. they literally work for real estate. Oh, yeah, that's right, they do. Yeah. All right, cool, cool. Thank you, man. I think it's cool that he's trained with us for a long time because um, I think that adds a different dynamic to like his belief, and that's what you know everyone's always talking about, especially Andy and the twins. Is if you can believe more, then you're going to be more successful. And one thing I was just talking to him about is uh, just have fun, be casual about it. At the end of the day, you know you're either going to help them or they're not going to help themselves. I mean, you can't take everything you know like too seriously. Although it's good to be serious, but if you're not having fun, then it's like, what are you even doing it for? And uh, you got to get the person on the other end of the phone to have some fun too. Um, and so that's what I was just talking to Tommy about. He's a great guy, and uh, we're super excited to have him on the team. Uh, he's been around for a little bit, comes to church with the team. Uh, he's been out to damn near every event that we've had. And uh, him and his, his girl, Sierra, they're, they're a badass couple together. So we're super excited to have him on board. Double dial. Gotta get him on the phone. Hello? What's going on? All right, how you doing? Hey man, this is Tommy. I can set it up for you in like two minutes, bro. And send it straight to your email. You want, to put me, you want me to put you down? Yeah, put me down. Okay. Let's go. He ran the plate. He came over here, he asked me for a couple of tips. He kept getting hung up on. They would tell him, oh man, it's just not a good time. Can I call you back later? Which we all know, they're not calling back. So I told him, I was like, well, just switch it up a little bit. Instead of, you know, saying this, I was like, try to say X, Y, Z instead and just see if they, they give up a little bit of that resistance. And then sure enough, his first phone call, he ran the play, locked up the ticket. I mean, that's just the way it goes, man. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Big Raiso. This week has been crazy. 
me and Jacob Hagerman just got off a big long trip to South Dakota doing some in-store dealer training. So this week we're back in the office, dialing away, helping our people at the highest level. Next week though, we're headed to Canada through the first Elliott Group International Training. We're training a couple car dealerships up in Canada. So we're hopping the border, we're going north, baby. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Tomorrow, Saturday, it's the company kickball tournament. Little do these people know, I used to be a professional kickball player back in elementary school. They used to call me Iron Leg Rai. I got a freaking boot on me, son. So I didn't tell anyone this. I'm gonna unleash the beast tomorrow. We're gonna see a lot of home runs and we're gonna see some bases getting torn up. It's gonna be bad. Ass. Also this week, we just released a new program for all of our people. It's the Employee of the Week. Now, I love that because what great company doesn't have Employee of the Week, dude? We got freaking parking spots. We got little badges you can wear. We're giving out cash money. I think we're giving out like two grand a month to whoever gets the Employee of the Month spot. Uh, that's special, man. That's what culture's all about. I can't wait to see who wins it this month for the, the month number one. I hope I win it. I'm working hard towards it. But anyways... Dude, big things happening here at the LA Group. Let's go, baby, come on. So we got the kick ball deflated right now, brand new in the mail. We're shutting out the week on a high note. And tomorrow we got our, I guess we're gonna do it weekly now, Elliott Sports Mashup, whatever you wanna call it. Um, yeah, so we're getting the team together, the, the whole gang together. Got a couple clients coming out to, to kick it with us for some kickball tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. We're announcing the employee of the week. So that's pretty exciting, that'll be a first. And um, yeah, definitely tune in for that because that'll be good. You know, we got some prizes and stuff. It doesn't matter, whatever team I'm on for kickball, that's who's gonna win. Every team I was on when we were playing football last weekend, we won 3-0, and what can we say? We breed excellence around here. Let's go, baby. We had the employee of the week going. And the per we had a lot of, we had a, it was a really close race. The top three people were Roger, mm -hmm. was Ray, and was Austin. Mm -hmm. So I want to explain something. Roger and Ray, they've been kicking ass. Mm -hmm. Austin, he probably was on the brink a couple of weeks ago of getting fired. We all remember those meet a couple of those meetings. Yeah. And if Austin was pissing you off in the company. Oh yeah. Like raise how, your how hand. many times a day? <laughs> raise I your hand. Break like, one day. Okay. Yeah. Now his arm. Ra raise your hand. Face. Raise your hand oh, if yeah. Austin's been motivating you over the last couple of weeks and you've been liking his attitude. Come on now. Yeah. Okay, Austin finished with the number one votes. Yeah. So he yeah, gets yeah, five hundred so hey. bucks, and I want to explain something to you, man. We talk about the MVP. We talk about the MVP, the most important players. What we like is the people most that improved. are on the, the most improved players, the people that are coming back. Austin was like struggling, man, and I think it was all his own mentality. Yep. Once he started to wake up, once he started to like change his belief in himself. We talked a lot about last week about being coachable. Austin flipped the switch and became more coachable. Yep. He was in every meeting with a good attitude. He was showing up for people doing That's stuff right above questions. and beyond what he needed to do. Yep. He was asking more questions. He was getting more creative. He's been selling more. He's been a better teammate. He's been a joy just to be around. Wouldn't you guys agree? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I'm pumped up because in, in a couple of weeks, he made a transformation that went from probably somebody you'd consider more at the bottom of the company to now somebody that's at the very top of the company. Yep. And that's how everything can change immediately just like that. So Austin, good freaking job. I got yeah. he's, the first, he's the first member of the Employee of the Week. Now what that nominates him for is the Employee of the Month. That's the Mexico trip. Uh, that's the two grand. That's all of that stuff. So let's keep trying hard and let's Let's go Austin! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! All the master closers out here today. It's a beautiful Saturday, but check this out. The coolest thing that you could be a part of is a company culture that wants to win, but not only wants to win, but wants to compete. You can't beat somebody that wants to compete every single day and not just win. It's not about the winning. It's about the journey for us and always competing to be the best version of ourselves. Let's go, baby. I'm going to play like right over here, like yeah. mid-short right over here. I'll play like right over here. Yep, yeah. right there. Yep, Create all the strategy you want. When you get punched in the face, that's when the real strategy you know comes what, into you play. You know what's crazy, we'll guys, is me and Ian are always on the same team, and now today I have the honor of working head with over there. Oh, I was going to say, I'm Evan, dude. I didn't no, no, think no, you know. No, 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 no. Okay, good. He can tell us apart. I was like, but I'm Evan. I can because of the tattoo. That's what I was about to say, it's the difference in tattoos. Never know I want to be gangster trying to play hard. Ready to go and jump. 
Never know I wanna be gangster trying to play hard. Dang down, it is think they are. Never know I wanna be gangster trying to play hard. We're out here playing kickball. Like I said yesterday, I used to be a professional kickball player in middle school. I got the iron leg, baby, and we're and we're we're kicking no shoe. That's the secret. Everyone's wearing sneakers, all fancy like. We're going old school, baby. Kickballs play with no shoes in the Mexican culture. That's effort. That's winning energy is what we call it here yep, at the LA. Winning, winning energy. It's not how you finish, it's how you end. Let's go! Oh. Hey, everybody at home, really Big Rai just cold. set a new home run record, 30 home oh, runs yeah, yeah. in five innings. I was running so fast, That's my so freaking foot's falling apart. No, 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 no. I, I'm like, I'm 